and your hand should be the other hand should palpate the upper rectus and upar uthaiye and the lower rectus now nothing moves that means the both the recti the proximal recti and the distal to the umbilicus they are functional after having done this you come on to the lower limb to show flexion of the uh hip so this is added to of the knee sidha kariye so we're Sida looking kariye. at various myotomes basically right. l2 l3 knee Sida extension right isko upar uthaiye so dorsiflexion l4. of l4 upar uthaiye and extensor hallucis ehl is l5 l5 and flexor hallucis so fhl niche niche angutha niche karna hai so this is s1 s1 and then of course if you is a patient can turn on his side or lie on his pet ke bal lekhna hai aapko or in a prone position you ask the patient to lift up panja upar apni taraf karo ha ankle and aur uthaiye upar uthaiye and this shows the power in the tendo achilles this is also indicative of s1 fir seedhe ho jaye seedhe hona hai aapko this grossly gives you an idea of the muscle power in the various segments after having done this uh, you go on to examine the sensory examination and in sensory examination either the sensations are absent or present if they are present then they are normal or they are diminished uh pain pain can be elicited by by the back of your back of your plastic hammer and you start right on the upper limb in a fashion right in your dermatome and you can just press on to this also gives pain and pressure actually to elicit isolated pain may be very uh it could be very uh, irritating to the patient the like pinching test is described that you pinch the skin and ask your patient can he feel it or not but this is little crude way it's very really crude we do not like to use pin or any metal piece uh, sometimes people sometimes it has been educated that if you want to know that does the patient has a feel of pain some people have been lifting up the hair which is again very very dicey which is again little crude very very crude and painful to the patient but i think that should be avoided unless the patient is got absolute loss of sensations and you want to know if there are deep sensory fibers still available or not um the fine touch can be elicited by using the cotton, cotton and we you can use uh, you can use it right on your given dermatomes the dermatomes have to be remembered by every candidate we come on to the deep reflexes position sense uh position sense sorry position no sense can be uh can be elicited by by the movement right on to the great toe you can show your patient aap idhar dekhiye idhar dekhiye aap dekhiye ye aapka upar hai theek hai aapki taraf hai aur ye aapka niche hai तो आपको ये बताना है नीचे कर लो सर आप को ये महसूस हो रहा है या नहीं हो रहा है कि कहा है पोजीशन आपकी ठीक है धीरा छोड़ दीजिए आप सर पूछेंगे तो बताना है कहां पे ऊपर है या नीचे है सो व्हाट यू डू इज यू होल्ड योर द यू होल्ड द प्रोक्सिमल फैलेंस ऑफ द ग्रेट टो बाय योर इंडेक्स फिंगर एंड थम सो दैट द ज्वाइंट below it that is metatarsophalangeal joint remains stable 
So what you are going to do is the movement onto the interphalangeal interphalangeal joint. कहाँ है? अच्छा. अब कहाँ है? ऊपर. अब कहाँ है? बीच में. So this way the patient you can at times do two three movements up and down and then ask your patient where it is. So that gives the sense of joint positioning. Hmm. Coordination. He can. He, this can be demonstrated by a heel sheen test. Okay. आपको ये अपनी एडी से आपकी जो ये हड्डी है टांग की उसके ऊपर इसको चलाना है चलाइए दिस कैन बी वेरी वेल डेमोन्स्ट्रेटेड बाई हील शी टेस्ट और रिलैक्स नाउ वी वी गो ऑन टू डीप रिफ्लेक्शन डीप रिफ्लेक्शन इन द अपर लिंग यू नीड टू रिलैक्स आस योर फैशन टू कीप द हैंड्स राइट ऑन इज अबडोम in a semi flex position and put your index finger right on to the uh, biceps tendon and you can demonstrate that Different. this fellow a sudden contraction whether this could be brisk or exaggerated or normal supinator supinator then on to your Reflex onto your tricep. Just relax. Dila chhod denge. Yeah. This is your triceps. Similarly, you come onto the lower limb, and you just flex the knee joint. Dila chhod denge. Hold it. Hold it on Dila your chodne. hand. Ask your patient to completely relax. एक दम ढीला छोड़ना है हाथ पे, सर के हाथ पे. This demonstrate. the knee reflex the the, uh, <clears throat> the ankle reflex again flex the knee so that he is relaxed the gastrocnemius is relaxed and then you stretch the gastrocnemius relax dhila chhodenge ekdam dhila chhodenge relax relax by at times you can keep it right here but uh, this is for the convenience of the patient uh, you can just keep it on a pillow or on a raised platform and demonstrate the tendo at least or what you call your ankle reflex It's a beautiful demonstration Sometimes, some people it has also been suggested that you can also do a tibialis posterior reflex in the same position you see tibialis posterior reflex it can be done in the same position and this also gives a good correlation सुपरफिशियल सुपरफिशियल रिफ्लेक्सेस नाउ फॉर सुपरफिशियल इट इज इंपॉर्टेंट दैट यू डिमोस्ट्रेट द सुपरफिशियल रिफ्लेक्सेस इन द अपर क्वाड्रेंट एब्डोमिनल क्वाड्रेंट एंड द लोअर क्वाड्रेंट द एब्डोमिनल रिफ्लेक्सेस द एब्डोमिनल रिफ्लेक्सेस एंड दिस इज फ्रॉम आउट इन पेरिफेरी डू इट इन द फ्रॉम पेरिफेरी टू द सेंटर पेरिफेरी टू द सेंटर दैट इज इंपॉर्टेंट and that is you take the back of your uh, plastic uh, percussion hammer and go from you will see that abdominal reflex so they have a this abdominal superficial reflex is a very important reflex uh, well it may be difficult in in uh, flabby uh, abdomen but otherwise uh, most of the time you can do it and compare on the both the both sides the sides compare on both the sides and from periphery to the center similarly so we uh, from periphery to the center also do we go from towards the umbilicus or we go away from the umbilicus you go away you go for away from the umbilicus you know they are obliquely being uh, being uh, supplied and so so the muscle contraction can be very well demonstrated uh well uh for the decency of this patient i'm not exposing it, but uh your trimestric trimestric reflex can be demonstrated from proximal to the distal region
Uh, similarly, you can go on to the bulbo, uh, bulbo cavernous reflex, which can be demonstrated by putting your finger right in the rectum and then squeezing the glands of the penis. Those patients who are quadriplegic or paraplegic, having a catheter, indwelling catheter, urinary indwelling catheter, a tuck can be done onto the catheter itself and the contraction of the muscle can be demonstrated very well. Another important one is anal wing. You don't have to put your fingers right into the rectum at that time. You just, the, the muscles around the anus by scratch, there'll be a sudden anal wake. This is another important superficial reflex. Another reflex that we have been doing, uh, time immemorial, is a plantar reflex, which can be done very well by scratching the sole from heel on the lateral aspect, heel upward, and any extension which is observed onto the toes and fanning out of the toes is a positive, positive plantar reflex. Done. Can you uh, demonstrate the, cl uh, the uh, clonus. clonus, the technique of listing uh, clonus also? Well, for, for demonstrating clonus, you, you, just, you just see, you just be able to palpate the pat patella and take the upper border of the patella, that means the superior pole on the either side of the superior pole and give a gentle push downward towards the tibial tubercle towards the tibial tubercle and the least touch and a gentle touch has to be done while demonstrating this test for ankle cronus you hold the ankle uh, you hold the limb just off the bed just off the bed knees relatively flex to 5 to 10 degree and Put your other hand, the right hand of the right ankle, you put it right on the forefoot region and your thumb on the dorsal of the forefoot and give a gentle tag. So it could be either this clonus could be either sustained or ill sustained. If it is sustained for more than 30 seconds or 30 seconds, it is well sustained. Otherwise, it is ill sustained. Just for completion, sir, for uh, upper motor uh, neurons or for upper limb, Hoffman signs, can you demonstrate that? Oh, yes. For uh, if the lesion is in the upper cervical spine, then you get spasticity in the upper limbs as well or there is a irritation onto the cervical up to cervical four vertebrae then this is the hoffman test is an important test which can be demonstrated by holding the middle finger relaxing the finger otherwise and Dila Cholo. a gentle tag onto Thick. the distal phalanx distal interphalangeal joint of the middle finger so if there is a flicker contraction onto the distal phalanx on the interphalangeal joint distal interphalangeal joint the test is positive so we are looking at the flicker in which which uh, fingers basically we're doing it on the middle finger yeah you look at the other fingers finger. 